Dave Palumbo here, and I'm going to show you one of the craziest boa morphs you've ever seen. Stay tuned, you're not going to want to miss this. What's up, snake fans? I know you guys have been asking about this, so here it goes. The Labyrinth Boa Litter. Uh, this is a big one. This is our, uh, my papa. This is Papa Snake. He is the male labyrinth or hypo labyrinth that I got from Jeff Ronnie about four years ago. And he is the Papa to the crystal litter you're going to see in a minute. I'm going to show you some amazing babies, some world's firsts that you guys maybe have or have not seen. But he's the, uh, the daddy. And if you see, you can see this like almost like a Burmese python, this labyrinth like pattern uh, of saddles on him. He's obviously got some really nice reds in him. The mama snake has got even better reds in her, but he's got a nice little labyrinth pattern. And once again, there's possible jungle in here, according to J Jeff, but I, don't, I, don't, I haven't really seen too much jungle. I, in the babies, it was, they were pretty much all labbies. And so this is the male. The female is up here. We'll get her up on the ladder. I'm going to show you in a minute. She's just exquisitely red. She's got great pattern. Um, I really thought I was going to get her to go last year. She didn't. I gave her another whole year. I fed her well, and she produced for me this year. And I didn't have many boa litters. I've only had two boa litters the whole year, but you know what? It was worth, if I had to pick only having one litter, she was definitely worth having it. She produced some amazing babies, and you're going to see them in just a second. All right, we're going to finally get to check out this labyrinth boa litter. This is about tape six. We had audio problems, we lost a snake, we had so many problems I can't tell you, but this is going to be the best one, I promise you. So let's, let's get to it. I'm not going to show you all the snakes, I'm going to show you a representative of, of what I think we got of every gene. So we bred Hypolabyrinth to Hypolabyrinth Boa. Right here, you're looking at what I believe to be a labyrinth that has one copy of the hypogene, so we call this Hypolabyrinth. Now you see the labyrinth pattern here? You can make that out pretty well. Uh, you can see now the hypomelanism gene takes out the dark pigment. So you have a lighter snake here with red colors as opposed to browns. And you have like a, a wider looking, you know, background of the snake. Now this could be a super hypo, okay? It's possible because it has a very reduced pattern. The hypomelanistic gene reduces these, this, this labyrinth pattern. And you, ha you can see there's almost, like a, there's almost like a single line here. But I'll tell you why I believe it's not a a labyrinth or a super hyper labyrinth. The reason it's not a super hyper labyrinth is because I believe this to be a super hyper labyrinth. Now look at the difference between this and this. This one's a much lighter snake. Um, yes, it has a little bit more labyrinth in it, but if you see the reduction in the line here, look at that white. Look how much lighter it is. If you can see these two next to each other. This one's a much lighter snake. Um, once again, we would call these both possible super hypos, but I believe this is a super hypo. I believe this is a hypo. Once again, they could both be super hypos because they are pretty light and they do have a reduction in, in the saddling. Okay? Now, let's go to the, the next one, which is one of the holy grails. This is a super labyrinth. Everyone's getting very frisky today. This is a super labyrinth what I believe to be a hypo super labyrinth. So one copy of the gene. You can see, once again, the patterning. The hypo, the hypo reducing this, this pattern here. This is, this is what we call a blue-eyed leucistic, okay? So it's a white snake with blue eyes and a nasty temper right now because this is the sixth time we've had it out. <laughs> you can see it's got whites and pinks and if you look at it even next to the super hypo labyrinth, look how much lighter it is. This is, this is a true leucistic snake. And once again, I would, might actually think that this is a super hypo um, but I'm going to tell you why I think it's only a hypo labyrinth because I have another one and I'm going to show you. This is the, this is the Harry, we're going to call him Houdini because this is Houdini. Houdini actually escaped before for a good 20 minutes and that's why I'm sweating. My video guy and I, Tyler, were chasing him around. Look at the, the pattern reduction on this and look at how much lighter and whiter in color this is. This is what I believe to be a super hypo super labyrinth or super hypo crystal. So these are your two crystals. This is the super hypocrystal this is the hypocrystal and once again this is just the this is the holy grail right here this is my dragon from game of thrones right here and once again a blue-eyed leucistic 
So it's got the blue eyes, it's a white snake, and it's just got everything you could possibly want. Now, you know, I have super fires from Jeremy Stone, which are solid white leucistic snakes with black eyes. I think they're super cool. I thought it was the coolest bow I'd ever seen until I saw the crystal. To me, the crystal is, is, is now uh, the creme de la creme out there. Uh, Jeff Ronnie, you know, who sold me my Hypo Labyrinths, produced a, a crystal. I believe it was a regular crystal, two regular crystals, about a week before I did. So technically, he got the first crystal. Um, these are really exquisite. His are exquisite. I think there's a lot that can be done with this gene, mixing different stuff into it, whether we mix bloods into it, or we mix scoria into it, or leopard. There's a lot of cool stuff we can do with this, and I know you guys out there are going to be doing it. I got lucky this time. I, I, I produced the crystal, you know, one of the first ones. But I think this is not a dead end. This is just the beginning and of where we're going with this project. And I think it's, it really kind of opens up the doors to a lot of exciting things in the, in the labyrinth uh, world and in the boa labyrinth world, I should say. So guys, if you uh, enjoy this program we're doing, make sure you subscribe below, turn on your notifications, hit like. Also, if you have any suggestions for more boa videos, please let me know in the comments below. And you know what, guys? Um, I'm going to do a lot of updates of this because I want you to see how this, this girl and this, well, I haven't even sexed them to be honest with you, how these, these crystals are progressing, how they're growing. If you guys want to pick up a hypo or super hypo labyrinth from me, assuming they don't escape here, uh, you can contact me at uh, huge285 at AOL.com or through my Palumbo's Pythons and Boas Facebook page or Palumbo's Pythons on Instagram. Uh, I'm very responsive. I like answering questions. So once again, I don't know if I'm going to sell any of these crystals. I have another one too. Uh, but I just fed them yesterday, and she looks like she doesn't want to be bothered. So um, I might sell one crystal. I'm not sure if the price is right. But really, the hypo labyrinths are, are going to be available because I can't keep them all. And they're really exquisite snakes. If you want to get into this project, this is really ground floor. You guys are going to love it. And once again, thank you for all the support. I put these pictures up. People were super supportive. I got a lot of great comments back. And once again, I got a little lucky here. But this is going to be something that's going to be truly special in the future. I'm Dave Palumbo now for another installment of Muscle Serpents University.